I woke up this morning and a random young woman jumped on my Facebook saying that I was a hater because I was targeting a specific young lady and because that young lady was being poked and I was not an I. <laughs> One thing that more than run for them be in the future. Just for sure the people and say, bro, in a life can better. Politician can do more. You know what I mean? Come here and meds it. You know how I made a watch on the on the internet. I mean I meds it. I mean I said blood clad. You know them dear age, Jamaica people still a black road and a protest for basic things. He's down with the jealousy and the envy comments because um, none of your faves can do what I do in any capacity. So calm down about it. He's down with the jealousy and the envy comments because um, none of your faves can do what I do in any capacity. <laughs> Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Jackie Jacks, and I am a Guyanese singer, songwriter, and a visual artist. Today, I wanted to make a video addressing a topic that is near and dear to my heart. It is Guyanese women and our representation. Recently, uh, probably two days ago, I got onto TikTok and after 24 hours, maybe 48 hours of being on the app, I made a post on my Facebook saying that people these days empower everything except the right things. I said that you get more support online being embarrassing, embarrassing yourself than actually being impressive. Why? I had noticed, you know, very talented people on that app who were barely getting likes. Meanwhile, there were people who were literally doing nonsense that required no skill, intellect, eloquence, decorum, or anything of the sort, and they were getting hundreds of thousands of likes. Meanwhile, the skilled musicians and people, the artisans, were getting 100 likes, 50 likes in these things, and I thought that was weird. So I made the post. Then I woke up this morning and a random young woman jumped on my Facebook saying that I was a hater because I was targeting a specific young lady and because that young lady was being poked and I was not. And I'm sitting there like, wow. Um, let me address you for a second. First of all, let's be honest. I am the Jack Jacks. All right. I'm not only a singer. I'm actually a songwriter. I am a writer too. I used to write for the media. And I have the audacity to also be an excellent, trained visual artist. So please, ease down with the jealousy and the envy comments because um, none of your faves can do what I do in any capacity. So calm down about it. Ease down with the jealousy and the envy comments because um, none of your faves can do what I do in any capacity. Now let me actually give you the answer you were looking for. This one is for black, dark-skinned Guyanese women. Women who look like me. Just because you guys refuse to gatekeep your representation and to actually take your representation into your own hands. You have abandoned your representation and decided that I am going to handle myself in any way. I'm going to showcase myself in anywhere and the world has to accept it. The world does not have to accept it. I am a young lady who grew up in the countryside of Guyana. My mother was a single parent and I can tell you that I had to fight tooth and nail to be regarded as a respectable black woman in society. You know why? We live in a racist, colorist, featurist world that is anti-black. And the world already has preconceived ideas of what black women should be. They already have a box to put us in. So even if you do not fit in that box, somehow they will put you in that box. So when 
You make it very easy for them to put you in that box. Don't be surprised when you try to go for jobs and people stereotype you. Don't be surprised when men and women in public treat you a certain way. When people disregard your boundaries because you know what? You show them and you have said to them that I am anybody. I don't have any standard. I don't have any boundaries. I will say anything. I will look anyhow and I will do anything. But you still expect tr people to treat you in a certain way. I don't believe that the world should be racist, colorist, and that we should be doing more than the average person in order to be respected. I don't believe that that should be the case, but it is the case. Right now, there is a movement, and I'm going to give you this secret. There is a movement existing in Guyana and other countries around the world to make dark skin, black people, and you don't only need to be black, but I'm speaking to black people. There is a movement to make us the permanent underclass of society. So if you want to remain uneducated and to follow up nonsense online, if you want to speak like you are limited upstairs and you want to contribute to the stereotypes that already exist about you, do so at your own free will. But don't be surprised when they put you in those beautiful boxes that they've already built for you. So y'all continue to abuse women like me who actually care about the representation of women like me, who actually want us to be regarded with respect, who want people to speak to us as if we are intelligent, who is working overtime to represent women who look like me in a very respectable manner. I am not your enemy, baby. I regard myself differently. And if you feel a way about that, that is your problem. Have fun living within the lower rungs of society. Have fun being the permanent underclass of society because we are in the age of technology, right? And if you don't use technology well, technology will use you. So the time that y'all spend getting degrees in dance behavior, learn how to speak without having to curse somebody out. Learn how to eloquently convey your thoughts. Learn some social media marketing, right? Learn some coding and become equipped with technology because if you don't use technology, technology will use you. All right? Get it together. One love, Delta 9 family. Welcome back to the flight and thanks again for flying Delta. No, y'all just hear what's going on there. It sound like Jackie Jacks. It sound like Jackie Jacks, Miss J herself, just boom out Lola. It sounds like Jackie Jacks just condition the condition doll. Because guess what? Who she was referencing, buddy? I think she really was referencing Lola's last performance at the big show at Jam Zone and the way that she presented. Now, we got that content coming up to in the video. You don't know how Delta 9 Media's do it over here, man. But who was she referencing? Drop a comment in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about this one. And guess what? As we're talking about things right now in the airwaves that's trending, that's trending, I'm looking around for see. If Miss Lola had anything she had to say about what Miss Jackie just said. Because guess what? We know Lola comeback is be very deadly. No pun intended. We know that certain people is get buried when Lola choose to rebut. Or when Lola choose to come back at people's head. You know what I'm saying? So we waiting and we watching. And guess what? As soon as anything come in the airways, Delta 9 Media is going to keep you updated. And right now, as we fly over to Jamaica, guess who's running for MP? And might be PM. Guess who's running for MP? And might be, potentially, allegedly, the PM. And guess what? 
He's popular enough to pull it off. He has enough supporters to help him to get into a parliamentary position. And it's none other than the world boss himself, soon to be MP himself. But we're going to hear this directly from the world boss himself. And we're going to let him tell we about just some of the ideas and perspectives he's been having recently. As a nation, no, I'm just there on the amends. I never have no political aspiration growing up. But I want to make more run for MP in the future. Just to show the people and say, bro, when a life can better, politicians can do more. You know what I mean? Come here, meds it. You know how I made a watch on the, on the internet? I mean, I made it. I mean, I said, bro, God, you know them dear Asia, Jamaica people, still a black road and a protest for the sick thing. Good road, light, electricity, uh, running water, holy for school, basic school, primary school, these not running water, proper sewage system. Them things they are basic thing when it should even be no problem. Uh, modern time now, we are the 21st century, them things they should have been a problem. I think this is the performance, you know. Let me see the performance. Let me see how the crowd was vibing. Let me hear the responses from the fans and the many persons that were celebrating the performance. And let's get an idea as to what might be causing this shade that we see coming in from Miss Jackie Jacks. Allegedly, allegedly, let me watch the performance. Let me be entertained by the doll herself right now. The queen! The A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you, Mr. C. Preach to the pine tea alive. Whatever happened, happens, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> That's me mentality these days. Whatever happened, happens, stunt, ma'am. I mean, you don't bother, bother me with nothing. Human rights activists, since when? 
where is the evidence for that? What have you done for the, um, for your community? Show us, please. 